got bigger, right? And to me, I, bigger or smaller, it's just an equation that we got to solve. And just at the very end, we'll have to pay attention if we're ever multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. Most students do prefer to put the x's on the left all the time, but you don't have to. It's, it's completely up to you. So let's, let's start. We got some distribution here and here. So I'm going to use distribution first to simplify. So that's five groups of negative 2x's. That'd be negative 10x's. Five groups of negative 5 would be negative 25. Okay, let's do the 4. And that'd be four groups of negative 1x's, which would be negative 4x's. And then four groups of 1, which would be positive 4. Everything else just drops. So we got this plus 2 greater than or equal to, and then the plus 3x here on the right. Now, even at this point, what I'm going to do is combine any like terms that I see. Some students like to do this, again, a little differently. It doesn't matter if you do it differently, just so long as your, <clears throat> excuse me, as long as your answer ends up being the same. And right here I see I can combine these constants, right? Negative 25 plus 2, which would be negative 23. Um, on the left side, that's all I can do. So I, I'll drop the negative 10x. And then on the right side, I've got negative 4x's plus 3x's, which I'm going to show as negative 1x's. And then, yeah, we still got that plus 4 there. So this is my new equation. And, yeah, we got, we got x's on both sides of the equal sign, which we don't, sorry, the inequality, which we don't want. I like to put the x's on the left and then the numbers on the right. But, again, you don't have to. Some students like to say, well, which, which side can I put the x's on to, to get a coefficient that, that's positive? So I'm actually kind of doing this purposefully, not just because I like to put the x's on the left, but just to kind of force that coefficient to be negative, to emphasize the negative thing, right? So principles of equality here, the negative 23 in purple is on the wrong side. It's on the x side of things, so I'm going to have to zero that out. So add 23 to both sides. And also the negative 1x, it's on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to zero that out. So it's an x term on the number side of things, so add 1x to both sides. So negative 10x's plus the 1x's, negative 9x's. I, notice I moved this over because I know that I can zero this negative 23 out. Same with the negative 1x. And then 4 plus 23 is 27. So all we did there is use the addition principles of equality. So that does not change the inequality. We'll never flip it. Now, if, if you had, let's say that you'd wanted the, the x's on the right, then you, would have, you should end up with negative 27 is greater than or equal to 9x. And again, that would force that coefficient to be positive. I'm doing it a little different. But the last thing I got here is I want the coefficient of x to be a phantom 1. So I'd have to divide both sides by negative 9. There's my phantom 1. But I did divide both sides by negative, so that will flip. That's going to flip the inequality. And then 27 divided by negative 9. A lot of negative 3s, I guess. Um, either way. So let's put negative 3. Again, I like to put it right in the middle. Not all students do, and it doesn't matter if you're doing it by hand, as long as it's somewhere on there. And then to the right would be negative 2 because zeros to the right of negative 3, and then negative 4 to its left. Okay, so this one. I have x compared with negative 3, but it could be equal to the negative 3, so I need a closed circle at negative 3. So I'm just going to fill that in. And this one is not eating the x, so that is going to go to the left. And then again, real quick, for the interval, this goes all the way to negative infinity. It stops at negative 3, but negative 3 is included, so it would be a square bracket.